Hey guys and welcome to another miniature adventures review. So today we're going to do something a little different from box games. Today we're going to review dungeon tiles. Now this is by a company called uh, Dungeon Works and uh, what they do is they produce the STL files for you to 3D print your own tiles. Um, from there you can then pretty much make as many or as few as you want and you just you can gradually pay them so you don't have to shell out a lot of money for uh, uh, all at once for, for your tiles. Now these can be used for um, for D&D, um, they can be used for Frostgrave, they can be used for uh, pretty much most dungeon crawls that don't really require specific um, a set of tiles. Now they can, these can also be used for um, I believe uh, Dungeon Bowl um, as well as you know just skirmishes I personally have played a, um, a skirmish just based in a dungeon now this is from their set called Tomb of the Griffin Knights and these are great I mean these are fantastic sorry about the paint job I was in a bit of a rush when I painted these just to kind of see what they were like I mean the detail on them is great I mean and literally you may have heard some of the other ones like uh, Dragon Lock, and things like that, if you know about 3D prints, but pretty much we print off the clips. We hook the clip in, and then we hook the tile in, and then we have we already have a tile. So let's hook in another clip, and look at that. I have a 3D dungeon already set up, ready to go. Now, imagine these are all set up, all in a row. Now, you may not want to put both sides on, but and that's quite fine. Well, suddenly I have a 3D dungeon uh, set up that I can paint. Now, I can paint these however I like. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, I can paint them dark colours, light colours. You could even, I guess, take a knife to them and kind of mess them up a little bit. Uh, now, some of these did fail and looked a bit damage so I kept them I don't have them here they're currently in another box now the best thing about this company though dungeon works is they don't just make dungeon tiles no they make something else that is quite <laughs> quite interesting actually so they make buildings that use your the same format you see so these are compatible but this is the wooden floor to a tavern. And this is the wall to a tavern. So I can build a tavern that I either want to um, explore. So I could build it for say D&D &D and have the inside all set up and they do a whole crazy um, a bunch of accessories for it. Or and here we go, we can have different signs for it. So this one I've set as a tavern, but you could create a blacksmith, things like that. And it's all just green. I mean, look at the detail on this stuff. And uh, Now, I make a lot of stuff out of foam. Um, I don't just 3D print, but this is just so, so much easier. I mean, so they do all kind of different styles of uh, woodwork. Um, and all different shapes, and then we can have different sized windows and different parts of windows. So here we go. Here's a cross beam. Here is a double, just a blank wall, and then another cool, interesting design. Let me just move those out of the way. Um, and then literally just sections for you to just print off. I printed off a whole a whole jumble of things. Now this is a great corner piece to fit everything together. Now and they use you literally would just have to print off a whole batch of clips and they all clip together. So let me see if I can show you what I mean. So here we go, nice clip. Nice clip. Okay. Let's clip that there. And then clip that there. Now I'm just doing this roughly. Obviously you'd use a lot more clips than I am here. 
right? So we, if we only care that the outside is um, styled, then the inside could be blank. But you can also print off them where they're double, um, double satisfied. So yeah, and then you would just literally just build it up like that. I'm sorry if that went off camera. Um, and you would just build up like that until eventually you get to this, and this is. The top level of my, uh, sorry, this is the bottom level of my tavern. So, there's my outside. Tells everyone, hey, welcome to the tavern. And then I would build the next level, and then the roof. As I say, I haven't printed off the roof yet. But I could paint these all different ways. Now, you can see that there are four by two by two squares. Or you can have, you know, kind of different style. Or you could go completely just those small ones and just customize it to your needs. Now I, I broke this unfortunately, but it comes with a cool, uh, cool little tool for you to pop out these clips. So what would happen is you'd literally just pop it on, and then pop it out, and then and push it in. And that's great. And as I say, they have so many sample packs on Thingiverse for you to um, download and use. But they also have a, a site, which I'll put in the description. And basically, they have a, a ridiculous amounts of sets. They have abandoned mines. Uh, that is pretty cool um, with mine carts and mine tracks. So pretty much anything you can think of for D&D &D, um, or Pathfinder... Those kind of dungeon crawls they have for you. And I mean, that. see, I can print up as many or as little as I want. And it's a great system. Now, I will say the only the only drawback is, um, especially when you get to some of the taverns, it gets a little bit complicated on how to build the, the roof, um, how to lay it out. When you get into those kind of complications. But a dungeon like this, no. I mean, literally... I can build a 4x4 four four room pretty quickly. Now some of the problems with the clips are just down to my 3D printing. But, let me just see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay. And there we go. You see, so you would imagine you'd have another one there. And then you'd have, but you could also have wooden you see, so you could use wooden tiles in a dungeon. So maybe it's an office and they put down wooden flooring or something. Um, but as I say, it comes with all different styles. These are for the the tavern. Oh, and they're, and they're really detailed. These notches obviously are in case you want a second level. So I can just put it on like that. Um, but go check it out and see what you think. Um, they, as I say, there's plenty on Thingiverse, and I'll put the link in the description for, basically, um, for the stuff to buy. And they buy whole packs, and the custom service for it, I have to say, is pretty phenomenal. So, and that's all for me. Uh, happy wargaming, happy uh, treasure hunting, and I'll see you all later. Mm.